Today, amen. 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 Humility 
is the key to oneness and to consider the needs of others as an important first step of humility. Paul hoped they possessed a desire for unity because of the Lord's love for them and the love produced in them by the Holy Spirit. Paul asked the Philippians to avoid the things that cause disunity, such as focusing on oneself. Our purpose is to advance God's kingdom and not our own. Paul did not intend for us to overlook our personal needs, but he asked we give equal thought to the welfare of others. It demonstrates Jesus' commands to love our neighbors as we love ourselves. And that's from Matthew 19, 19. And I have a point that says, we are family. We have the power to make this a better world. We have the tools of love, friendship, and support. We have the energy to see each other through challenges. We have the strength to give support when one of us is weak. We have faith that together we can handle any situation. We have enough love to see beyond faults. We desire to see each other succeed. We possess enough wisdom to offer solutions to problems. We share the knowledge that united, no outside the force, no outside force can defeat us. We are one, we are rooted and grounded in God. We, as a body of Christ, are a family. And I love you all.
2 Corinthians 9 and 8 says, And God is able to make all grace abound towards you. Pause for a minute. Somebody go back to Malachi where it says test. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, anybody willing to test, test the Lord? Test. Yes. He says, test me, right? Mm -hmm. Then in 2 Corinthians, he says he'll do what? Make all grace abound Anybody willing you. to test the Lord, say, God, you said, yes. if I give you my whole, you're going to make, you're going to put a demand on yourself on some of the principles of who you are and you're going to make grace work on my yes. behalf. Yes. I'm just in the word. What does it say? That you always having all sufficiencies in all things. Pause. I'm going to put a demand on myself if you're willing to test me and obey me. I'm going to speak to grace. Now grace can't do but what grace is. Right? Right. But then I'm going to take the principles and the property of grace. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to make grace. Come on, yeah. I'm going to make grace extend beyond grace. Yes. And when I make grace extend beyond grace, grace has to do the following thing. Anybody ready for the blessings of the Lord to chase yes. you down? I dare you to start running. Because the Bible says they will chase you down. I dare you, if you believe the word, to start running and say, Lord, I you to chase me with you. So he says, I'll make grace do what? Abound towards you. You don't understand. Grace has to mount up and now grace has to take your destiny and the depth of the vision of God in you and it has to rise up to abound towards you. Then what does it have to do? That you may have. <laughs> Towards every good work. 
You got to say it. You got to prophesy to yourself. What you about to do? Does anybody understand what abound means? Do you understand what abound means? Bounce back, baby. Abound. Okay? In every good work. You don't get it yet. That means whatever the assignment is, you have to exceed. It has to go beyond yes. you. Yes. Okay, actually, about means it has to elevate you to where it's at. All right. And every good word, go on. That's it. Go <laughs> on. Amen. Wait, now let me see how this is version. Voice. God no, don't is put your ready. money in don't yet. No, don't okay. put your money in yet. God is ready to overwhelm you with more blessings than you can ever imagine oh, so yeah. that you'll That's always true. be taken I, I, care yeah. of in every way yes. and you'll have more than enough to Ooh. share. Yes. All right, so prophetically, out of the voice version, voice version mm -hmm. the prophetic word to yourself, you are still speaking to yourself. Anybody yes. still in face, uh, faith, uh, selfie mode? Yes. Hashtag yes. yourself. Okay, so... All together, you said we repeat it. This is your prophetic declaration, and yeah. we haven't even gotten to the good part yet. Go on. God is ready. God, God is ready. ready. Don't pause. You got to say it like God is ready. Lord, God, God is ready. ready. God is ready. Uh, you got to say it like ready. somebody got to pay the money for the people that dream that God, God is, is ready. It's on their front lawn. When the people that was praying that you would be yeah. that big lotto. God is ready. God is ready to overwhelm me. Overwhelm me with more blessings. With more blessings than I could ever imagine. Than I could ever imagine. So that I will. So that I will always, always be taken care of. Be taken care of in every way. In every way.
Mm. I expected yes. money to be there. Yes. Come on now. Janice, Amen. my aunt heard me. She was like, oh my God, what's going on with Apostle Paulette? She's just like, okay, it's just warfare. All of, I, don't, I don't intend to do it this way. So I sent out a text to a select few people. I need $3,500. I don't know that anybody here may have gotten that one. Then it occurred to me, oh, shoot, I should send it out to some a different group of people. Okay, so then the second text went out to a different group. Whoever came up, okay, here it is. And so the first person that responded was like, Apostle, here's $100. I'm going to go put it in the bank for you. And while they were putting it in the bank, somebody put $125 in their hand. I said, oh, you need to understand, LFC is good soil. I expect the increase to come. Right, right. Then somebody else called. The first person that sent money said, oh, this is seed money for the retreat. I have forgot to even start collecting money for the mm. retreat. I said, oh, okay, I put it up. Hotel call, I told you. It's like, oh, can we process your payment? It didn't go through. I'm like, payment for what? Forgot we were paying for space. It was like, just tell me how much it is and I'll transfer the money. You know, you have conversation because who God is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to transfer the money. Like, we can transfer money. They told me how much it was. I said, okay. And I went to another account and it was there. I was like, look at God. She was like, you want me to give you a few days? It's like, no, you can press the button. I promise you, they pressed the button before I pressed transfer. Good. <laughs> <laughs> when they called back, because we didn't have the numbers to do the things we needed. And it was just like, God, what are we doing? Ministry don't supposed to be difficult like this. I can't do ministry like that. I'm a giver, and I expect God to do who he is. Now, I'm not going to go. I'm, you know, I was. it had to be Thursday. I, told, I think I told you, now I got to go and try to collect money. It's like, no, that's not my anointing. Money's supposed to chase me down. I shouldn't be going, where can I meet you to get yours? Or where can I? Money's supposed, he said, the blessings of the Lord are supposed to do what? Rich. Oh, it make you rich. But you do know they chase you. Yeah. Fine, come find me. Money cometh. Somebody say money cometh. But I don't care where I'm at. Let money come to where I am at. The reality of it is, if somebody texts me and said, here's a thousand, and if you need more, let me know. I said, let me just put you on standby for 1400 more. <laughs> Apostle laughed at me. Oh, I can say, he said, well, this is the Grace Cathedral. I said, well, let the Grace Cathedral be on hold for 1400 more. And he laughed. I called him back yesterday while we were looking for stuff for the conference. I said, oh, Apostle, did you send the money? He said, no, me and my wife. I said, you don't need to send it because somebody else just sent me $2,000. Oh, yeah. Understand that. I need us to understand that by the time money chased us, at some point I, can, I think I told somebody, you know what, just bring it when I see you. I know when it was due, but yeah, when I see yeah, you, yeah. just bring it. I appreciate the people's life. You do know we try to give you money and you ain't answered your phone. Yeah. I can't do ministry and chase money and also be able to sit in the presence of God and receive. So I told them, we have this bill because 26 years ago, we was in a conference. Uh, when were we in this conference? I don't know how long ago it was. But anyway, this conference of multi-thousands of people, and they called me up and said, look, money is going to come your way thousands and buys the thousands. And every time it comes, read the bank. And so I told Pastor, I said, I'm going to do the offering, not because I'm trying to raise money, but because I want you to see that the money is already there. So this wasn't a solicit money. This was Father, who do you want to elevate? Yeah. Who are you looking to bless? Yeah. Yeah. Only let the money come to me. Now, it didn't come via the way I thought it would come. Mm -hmm. I love God. Yes, you know, there are people yes, that you yes. think that's going to do it. Mm -hmm. And you shouldn't even have to send a text. Mm -hmm. It didn't come that way. He said, I got some specific people that I need to change their finances. Yes. So I'm going to give them the seed to sow so that I can be their overflow. Wow. So I just put everybody's name on here because I know some people wanted it to be confidential. And trust me, the Grace Cathedral Center don't care. Okay. Uh, and Prosperous Journey don't care if I use them as examples. But I just want this piece of paper to represent the overflow that's coming. And then I want the people that's just on, if you want to be an Old Testament, I'm flexible. If you need to live in the 10% realm, I give God 10%. I know somebody to write down, God, I give you 10. And where deacon at? I 
I will forever. And where that other one at? Uh, I will forever. And where Pastor uh, Minister, uh, what's his name? Pastor Man. I need all of y'all to know. I never want somebody to say, Lord, you do it 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 100. 100 fold is for another ministry. And I'm not mad at the 100 fold ministry. We don't never do nothing less than 1,000 fold. But anyway, you bless me. I am not satisfied. That's somebody else's testimony. I need the overflow. I need the exceedingly abundantly above all. So, first of all, I just want somebody to say, 1,000 fold. 1,000 fold. Oh, if you want to give, oh, 
Check to the P.O. Box? Oh, yeah, sure. You sure. can do pe Zelle, Pell? Oh, sure. You can Zelle, um, but I don't know how you Zelle. You can PayPal. You know what? Somebody's going to give you all that information and want to sell. Yes. I don't have those details. <laughs> <laughs> if you're using Zelle, use the email address, Seanette Houghton at Yahoo.com. That's S-H-A-U-G-H. So every person that comes up, I don't know uh, what people sound like. N-E-T-T-E. H-O-U-G-H. T-O-N at yahoo.com. Yeah. thousands that have to come in as a result of your salary becoming your tithe. Okay? Right. Amen. 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 So Amen. Uh, I don't know what we want to start. Where my baby's at? Let's start with the truth. Yeah. Yeah.